Now, Eugenio came into MU here. Boom. Not bad. I would have liked to have him get in here, in the bar. But he got in above the high of the bar. All right, I'm cool with that. Now, Eugenio got in, I think he got in with two lots. No, he didn't get in there. He got in here with two lots. And he took one lot off. Mistake. Okay? So I told Eugenio, I said, this isn't take it all play. It's not a take part play. You got to take all of it play because when you do what I told teach you to do, which is to combine all the move, a consecutive move into one bar, you see that that is a freaking damaging drop, right? So remember I've gone over this concept with you. So you found the bottom. Here's the top. The top is 100. The bottom is zero. Halfway is 50. This is 75, right? And this is 25. Now, the odds of going when the drop is big, the odds of going from zero to 100, you get that one out of 10 times. That's not great odds. I'm going to lose not... If I go for 100 every trade, I'm a loser nine times. But if I go for 75%, I will get this two times out of every 10. Still not great odds, but it happens. But something interesting happens at 50%. I skyrocket to 6.3 times out of every 10. You're a winning trader going for 50%. Now, if I go for 25%, I go all the way to nine times out of every 10. So, to have gotten 50 to 75, to, so these are ranges, right? So, let me do it with different colors. So, these are ranges. You see what I'm saying? They're ranges. So, to have gotten this range, you know the odds here. Those are stupid odds. Don't go for that. But what is going to happen once this stops going up? Another drop. So knowing this, knowing that this can't be climbed except one time out of every 10, I'm, if I'm going to play this, I'm playing it for this quick pop, and I'm gone. Now, Let's continue with this. When drops only come up about 25, 30, 35%, their next drop, right, should be a new low. But if they go up too far, their next drop should not be a new low. You see what I'm saying? You see the difference? Does that make sense? The higher you go up this ladder, the more shallow the drop should be. Did we go up the ladder pretty far? Did we go up the ladder pretty far? Yes. Okay. So because we went way past the 50% mark, the drop should have trouble making a new loan. Do you see that? Mm. Mm. Guys, this is, an, this is an aristocratic concept here, huh? Yeah, she. Aristocratic trading. Yeah, see, it's aristocrat. We're aristocrats. All right, so look. This is fancy. This, this is fancy. Like, You can, you're going to impress your, your friends about when you start talking about, they say, how do you see all of this in the charts? It's fancy. It's fancy trading. All right, so look. So we know now that the odds of a new low 
are have dropped. It's not impossible. So here's where the now comes into play. Do you understand? I don't know whether or not this drop from here is going to make a new low. I know that the odds are not that great that it makes a new low, but I still don't know. So what do I need? I need a now to come into place that tells me that right now it's not going to make a new low. I need a now. I need a confirming now. I don't have to know in advance, is this going to stop at the low or is it going to break the low? I don't need to know that. I don't need to know a future now. I just need a current now that confirms no new low, no new low. Red bar, red bar, no follow through, no new low. All right. This is very important. Very important stuff.